good to go to count down. Oh yeah, timing starts at a really weird place. So yeah, yeah shout outs. First off, shout outs, uh, shout outs to Sigman, who came here and well, let's start. So yeah, we have some time to fill and that's why I'm doing it. That's why I'm not starting the counter yet. But that's SDA timing, whatever. Skipping cutscenes is always cool. Basically what this is, this is Rayman Revolution. Or more commonly known as Rayman 2 for the PlayStation 2. Which is the most complete version, most well, the best version of this uh, of this version of the game. However, it's also the glitchiest version of the game. Because every other Rayman thing for the Nintendo 64, PlayStation 1, it's a completely different game. And, however, it's solid. Like, there are no skips. There are some clips, but nothing all that major. Rayman Revolution, however, we can easily do that within... A decently small time frame. And I'm going to, see, uh, to show you guys how broken a game can really be. Estimate is 20 minutes. I'm hoping to do it in less. World record is 13 minutes. My PB is 15, 16. However, I should be able to at least get a better time. Okay, time is coming up, which is faster Rayman. Okay, time can start now. Oh, darn. So yeah, we're escaping out of this jail. Basically the story is the robot pirates captured everything. <laughs> However, we're not going to entertain ourselves with the story. So we just escaped. Uh, we're in a prison ship high up in the air. Glowbox, which is our fat friend, is... Uh, well, he broke us. Now we're falling towards the earth. The only downside of uh, this run is that it's 50% cutscenes, maybe even more. No, no, it's definitely less. 50% cutscenes. Oh, actually, yeah, it is more. And 50% gameplay. So yeah, we've fallen down uh, to earth. We lost uh, Glowbox, actually. Because as usual, some we need to save someone. <laughs> In comparison to Mario saving Princess Peach all the time, yeah, we don't know. So yeah, this uh, little fella is Murphy, and this guy likes to tell us stuff. <laughs> like every single time. And here I am with, no, I don't want to listen to you. So we're just going away. And hopefully we can skip him again here. Oh, oh almost. It's a two second time frame, or no, two frame window of uh, skipping him. However, I didn't do it right. So yeah, this game is made by interns, or at least that's what we believe. Why? Because they didn't program diagonal speeds. Like... When I'm walking, you can see me uh, while doing weird things with the camera. Uh, the sole reason for that is because when I move diagonally on the screen, it actually thinks uh, that I'm walking uh, front, I'm walking to the sides, and basically those two get added up and I'm walking at double the speed, which is cool. Also, I skipped a cutscene by just jumping over the hitbox. Hitbox, glowbox, same thing, right? Which is a 40 second time save. And let's uh, kick back for two minutes with another cutscene with the teensies! Yeah, 
You guys are ruined as me. <laughs> if you ever played Rayman 2 before, you notice that those that the eyes of the teensies are a little bit different. Well, the Japanese version has a lot of different things. Those eyes, you can also see that instead of purple, Rayman is blue. Reason for that is in Japan, purple is a color associated with death and any other thing that's not pleasant. So for Japan, they reskinned uh, Rayman to blue. There are other differences. Uh, yeah, there there is one. That is coming up way later. Like near the end of the run. So yeah, although not really glitchy, uh, this first level at least. Except for the walking speeds. Well, prepare yourself, because it's going to be a glitch fest. Hey Kitsune. So yeah, I don't have that much to tell for a short game that's already is, so if you have questions, you can just ask them. Also, this category is like super, super easy, so if you ever are in need of a, of a speed game, the community allows emulators, they're not uh, salty about it at all. Okay, maybe. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, uh, right here. Dropping down, talking to baby glow box. For some reason, I like to call all baby glow boxes Leroy. So, by Leroy, oh, Murphy is here. Whatever. Another. Uh, more proof that this game is made by interns. If you throw, the diving animation gets cancelled, which is good. And... Hey, a wall. What do speedrunners do with walls? They... They fail with them. And they actually clip through. Uh... What? Okay, no... Huh? Oh, great, great job. Can, can I still go back? Um, I'm actually air swimming right now. Is this where I came from? Okay, I did that wrong. But hey, we got some time to fill. Don't worry. And if we're going over estimate, then, uh... Blame me. Okay, this is the way to go. So we're uh, going out of bounds and swimming, which means that I need to do this fast. To uh, level later on the the bayou for everyone that played it. However, there is a wrong warp here. That if we tell the game to actually save, yes, and then oh no, I don't want to save. It's uh, actually going to uh, put us at a different cutscene, and it actually wrong warps us to uh, what's it called? The end of the precipice. <clears throat> hey, Lekpu, Captain Awesome. Those are also Rayman runners. Oh, wow. Schedule manipulation. That's the only thing we're not doing. Actually, are we manipulating? Yeah, yeah, we are. The final boss battle. So, this is a cool level, right? <laughs> nope. I was going to leave because of the wrong warp. We're actually going to a different spot in the uh, in the overworld. At a place exactly where we need to be. And this is something new that we're going to uh, show. This is called PMS. So by doing a specific uh, by doing specific things in the menu, 
we can actually play while having the menu here and that's going to be helpful later so this is a jump that I'm going to attempt I've never done it before and well you can see how that turned out but no biggie we can also do it, do it uh, activate PMS uh, later PMS is uh, short for playable menu state which uh, which means that we can just play while the menu is up and that's going to be useful for a certain trick uh, yeah <clears throat> everything on due time so yeah with that I want to save and because the save button or accept button is the same button as the jump button because yay uh, controllers I will actually go up in height for every frame that I'm saving effectively making me do a PMS jump or super jump and there was a microphone <laughs> yeah I wish there was a couch cam as well don't you worry about it um, what's after okay so what can we do with that we can go really high and fly into different parts of the game that we shouldn't be in for example, at the final one of the final cutscenes, there's a trigger right there somewhere. It's invisible, and you will fly to there in a cutscene. However, the trigger is still there. Okay, so I need to angle myself correctly, and I need to, I need to time this out. So we're we're going to count. Okay. Okay, we got the PMS jump, or PMS at least. I need to watch the timer right now. Don't get turned around. Okay, yeah, we're high up in the air. I'm not counting, but I'm using a visual. This may be too early. Oh, we got it! Nice! First try. Yeah, I think this, uh... <laughs> this is solid, but yeah probably should have counted so what we did is we actually went into the trigger for the final boss battle and here is Razorbeard he's the the boss of all the pirates and he's super mad right now so yeah this is not going to be a PB time but that's not uh, that's not bad Mind you, this is unpracticed. <clears throat> so yeah, with all the money in the world, uh, Razorbeard actually bought this giant robot. I forgot his name. Maybe Lekpoo or Captain Awesome knows his name. And instead of losing Glowbox, uh, he's actually captured. Again. But then there's Rayman to save the day. And oh, game over. Okay, let's go home. And <laughs> just kidding. Rayman is here. And Glowbox is not dead. So we're going to take on this giant robot. Oh, Grogoff. Thanks. So yeah, the only thing we're actually really going to do, except for doing what we're supposed to do, is stand near the edge. Uh, Gronkov has one attack where uh, he will jump towards you, but if you're standing close to the edge, then he will not do it. Also, we need to be at the specific place for those bombs to uh, actually hit him. Because if we don't, he will just uh, jump over the bomb or slide to the side. Yeah, this is actually good. First try. And that's the the first phase. And he, he is going to do his jumping attack. Any time now? <laughs> and he is too fat. 
And because of typical Raymond fashion, Raymond is also way too heavy and just falls. And this is Lee! If you've played a Raymond game, you know that Lee, uh, well, she looks more fairy-like. However, this is more human. I don't know why the Japanese has changed uh, that. But just look at it. It's a face only a mother can love. <laughs> to say it nice. Lee, by the way, is uh, uh, well, she's a fairy and she gives us a lot of powers. She hasn't given us any powers yet, except for in the beginning cutscene, where Glowbox had it in his mouth. <clears throat> so yeah, she's not going to communicate with us. Hey, uh, you're all right. You're cool. Save the world from devastation. And more weeaboo shit. But we're not done yet. If you thought Grohl God was out of the count, or Razorbeard I should say, well, he's not, he's kicking, and he wants us dead. Okay, so we got the bad RNG. So we need to kill him, however, we don't have bullets, and all those bullets will spawn in one of these two uh, cages, or cages? Secluded areas. Okay, so let's fire that at him. And we hit him. And instead of depleting all our ammo, if we go to the top and shoot and hold X in the circle, we can actually go to uh, whatever this place is. The place of six pillars. And right at the end, if we complete all the trials, we will actually get infinite ammo. And that's, uh, that's how we're going to kill him. By just shooting his hands and then shooting him in the lava. Okay, time is coming up uh, pretty soon, Skelly. Well, not that soon. Yeah, okay. In a bit. And... I missed. Okay, time is now. Alright, you got 16.01. So, effectively 16, which is... is not that bad. Could be better, though. Yeah. Well, alright, that was uh, Raymond 2. Revolution. If you want to see more of that, follow... Uh, <laughs> People of the, the Limpless Squad, which is our new Twitch team. Shout out to, uh, well, the whole Rayman community. And maybe, just maybe, I mean, we still have some time to fill. We can look at this final mm -hmm. cutscene where everyone is mourning uh, Rayman's death. <laughs> Even all the little glow boxes. And all they have left is a shoe. That's it, man. Thanks for watching. And guess what? <coughs> this is a Ubisoft game. It's going to have a happy end. Because Rayman is just right around the corner. Ringman! And that's about it. Right after the break, the uh, distro will be speedrunning Halo 5 for you guys. Are you there, Skelly? Oh, okay. Transition over.